finally, we are back. Thank you for staying with us. We're still talking with Jeff Beard, and he inspires today's youth, as we said, to get back on their feet, stand up to bullying, battle depression, all while, while living lives free of alcohol and drugs. And he does that, does that through motivational speaking. professional wrestling career that has spanned 25 years. He is legitimately seven feet tall. So he's like four of me. Maybe. And maybe that's me standing on a step ladder. He has battled the great Andre the Giant. He has wrestled numerous people in the Southern Wrestling Hall of Fame. And this coming weekend, he takes his rightful place alongside with him as we induct him into the Southern Wrestling Hall of Fame. Today, he's retired, he's a motivational speaker, he's an entrepreneur, he's a good man. I want to welcome a seven foot tall, you know him as the giant warrior and colossus in his wrestling days, Jeff Bearden. I mean, one out of three kids say that they're bullied when they're in school. 160,000 kids across the United States say that they skip school on a daily basis because they've been bullied. And one out of 10 kids that drop out of school is because of bullying. So it is an epidemic that everybody is talking about. So if you see it or if you feel that you're a victim, speak up. You've got to talk to your parents, talk to a school administrator, a teacher, a coach, the counselors. Because if you don't step up and talk about it, nobody's going to step up to help you stop it. I thought that Jeff's speech was awesome, it was great. And it gave a lot of helpful insights about his life and how I can take that and apply it to make sure I have an awesome life and don't fall into peer pressure, just try to stay the right path. To me, is the only label that matters is the label that you put on yourself. Go out there and make something happen in your life. Don't wait for it. A mistake doesn't label you as a failure in the future. It just means that you missed an opportunity to make the best out of the situation you were in. I want each and every one of you to succeed in life. But it doesn't matter how much I want you to succeed. It matters how much you want to succeed. You have to want it and you have to do it. But just remember when life knocks you down, as it often will, just get back on your feet.